Hey everyone, I am so much better. I sound normal now and my mouth sores are healed and I have more energy, although I'm still a little fatigued and short of breath, a lot better compared to last week. So thank you so much for the many comments, the many prayers that have been lifted in my behalf and, and for your support all along. Today we're gonna have a family day and go out with the little man in my main squeeze right here. Look how handsome he looks. It's 8.40 and uh, Dr. Eastman and I, she is my doctor that is doing my mastectomy. We have been playing phone tag and she really wanted to call me to give me some information regarding what she found in the imaging of my MRI of my breasts um, that will determine whether I can spare the nipple or not spare the nipple on my surgery next week. and. Uh, it's been a decision that I've been very conflicted about and I'm about to call her back and I want you to be a part of that phone conversation. Hi. Hi, Dr. Eastman. Hi, how are you? I am well. I'm sorry we're playing phone tag. No problem and I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to you yet. I was trying to make sure that I had the most up-to-date information that I could possibly get and I did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how are you doing? I am doing much better, thank you. Finally uh, recovered from this last chemo round. It kind of kicked my butt a little bit. Uh, in general, the nipple sparing mastectomy is, you know, safe, and the recurrence rate is low. And most of the people who recur don't recur within the nipple area or complex. Previously, the two things that I would say would, you know, that they had talked about that was potentially you weren't a good candidate would be the multi-centricity of the tumor you know, you have the spot, and the HER2 positivity because they take more aggressive tumor types. Uh, I talked to um, Dr. Rao who I think I was going to send you to her for a second opinion. Right. You know, Lester. Yes. So I asked her, you know, should I be worried about her having two sites? or, you know, um, and it being her too positive, and she said that that would not be something that she would be concerned with. So, okay. she said, if, you know, if everything, you know, if the tumor wasn't close to the nipple, and from a anatomy standpoint, from a plastic surgeon standpoint, then, you know, she doesn't see any issue with doing it. <laughs> so, and I took her in. Okay. Uh, you know, Completely, so I would, you know, obviously I wouldn't have sent you to her if I didn't. But um, I assume we can get in touch with you on your cell phone. You bet, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I will talk to you uh, Friday and I will see you next week. And like I said, you have, you know, you just have to make your decision by the time we go to surgery. So. Okay. Good deal. You're all set. Thank all you right. so well, much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week and try to relax on this weekend. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. No problem. Bye-bye. Okay, so it looks like um, all the transfusion decisions will be based on my blood work from Friday. And uh, according to my uh, doctor, um, it is safe for me to spare my nipple. And 
It sounds very strange to talk about this and I'm sorry if this is too much information for all of you viewers, but those are the decisions that I have to make. Do I just choose to keep my own nipple or, or get rid of it and get it tattooed, which is a procedure that they do on the third phase of reconstruction. And you know, it, it's my reality and I'm sorry if it grosses you out, <laughs> but I am happy that I qualify to spare my nipple I still haven't made that decision yet. Obviously, I'm gonna talk to the guy behind the camera there and we'll make a final decision before my surgery, so. Well, good morning, everybody. It's Shell here, headed to church on a bright, sunshiny day, which has been unusual because we have had so much rain here in Texas. A lot of flooding in the area, so we're excited to have the sun out. And, um, and I also wanted to share with you that this is a very, very special Sunday. Um, my husband and I and our friends, it's a team of our friends, planted our church, the Pillar Church, a few years ago here in the Rockwall area. And today is the last Sunday that Pillar Church exists. It's not a sad thing, it's an exciting thing because uh, we are merging with another church in the area called Emmaus and uh, we are replanting a new church together. This has been almost a year-long process of a lot of prayer and the Lord has been um, you, blessing us and uniting us and, and um, bringing our visions together and we are uh, starting a new church. It's called Reach Rockwall and that's gonna happen in July and we're excited about that but it's bittersweet because this is the last Sunday as the Pillar Church. And Show, uh, which is the most perfect um, operation, perfect surgery ever on Wednesday. Lord, I pray that the peace of Christ, Lord, would just be upon her, Lord, just like a like a warm uh, robe or blanket, Lord, just all around her heart and her mind. It is so nice this past week to feel better and to be able to enjoy um, the last Sunday of the Pillar Church. And, um, and you know, as I'm gearing up for my surgery uh, this week. So I really appreciate you coming and following along and praying for me so fervently when I was going through a tough time with my mouth sores and I was struggling emotionally because the surrogacy didn't work out. I got so many sweet messages and um, comments and I, I really, really appreciate it. I may not respond to it all, but I do read them and I am so very grateful for them. Remember that love is bigger than cancer. Knox. Can you say bye-bye? Say ciao ciao.